Democratic Party. Christian Democratic Party. Hi everybody, thanks for having me again, that's good. Um, question is, what is happening in Australia under our watch? And what are we going to allow to happen in Australia under our watch? I understand that the Labor Party has a 309 page document that outlines all of their policies, but we're not hearing about the detail and like they say, the devil's in the detail. So I want to actually refer to some of these things tonight. But of course, Christian Democratic Party cares about, like you, we care about people, we care about society, we want to make good decisions. So we care about the economy, Australia's deficit, electricity prices, jobs, water and food security, the environment and taxes. Our policies are designed to protect the vulnerable, we have zero tolerance for domestic violence and child pornography, affordable housing, one law for all in Australia, increased pension payments, increased drought relief for farmers, protect farmland and waterways, no fracking of coal seam gas. Now, I'm going to talk about things that people don't talk about much, but they're there and they're really important. Christian Democratic Party believes in individual freedoms which I'm going to highlight. However, of concern are those whose policies reflect a desire to take away individual freedoms and to build a bigger, more controlling government. The bold symbol for this takeover philosophy is a brazen wolf in sheep's clothing. If you want to Google Fabian socialism window, you'll see it. Fabian socialism is closely related to the old communism, which has been recently renamed progressive. Have you heard that much? All the time. Australia is the best country in the world and CDP wants to keep it that way. Australians live in comparative freedom, freedom of choice, conscience, religion, speech, association. Or do we? Australians have autonomy over what we own and sovereignty over our own nation. Or have we? There are some who want to remove individual freedoms. There, there um, are some on both sides of politics selling off our country. That's a question. Do farmers have the right to decide what happens on their own land? How much freedom do people really have? The way we vote in this election is crucial and we decide whether these freedoms will continue. These freedoms did not come cheaply but were bought by the blood and sacrifice of our parents and forebears. We will remember them. There is one side of politics that appears hostile to life and freedom, and this must be called out. For example, who here believes that parents should have a right to make decisions on behalf of their own children? Everybody, yeah? It's, it's like, sure, it's given. However, some parents' rights in Australia have already been removed and replaced with government control. For example, in Victoria, the Safe Schools Program. All children who go to public schools in Victoria must learn the radical gender fluid theory that boys can be girls and vice versa from kindergarten. This gender fluid theory does not sit well with many parents, yet parents cannot opt out. In this case, the state government has usurped parents' right to parent already. Where is their freedom? Does Labor believe in diversity of educational choice? Todd. That's a shame. Okay. So anyway, if you want us to keep freedoms, love, value, um, life and truth, that which I believe is worth standing up for, vote one, Christian Democratic Party.